Hi, this is Dan Starr bringing you the next part of this uh, video. The advantages of having a digital piano. Now what I say in this video also applies to portable keyboards, but if I don't answer all your questions, then let's see. Here we go. We're panning around my studio and taking a look at my computer here. I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to read this or not, but this is a screenshot of Amazon.com and my book that I've written, it's called The Non-Mozart's Guide to Digital Pianos and Portable Keyboards and it talks about all the all the factors that I'm going to talk about in this and a lot more stuff too so if I don't cover what you need then maybe you should spend $9.99 and get this yeah I know it's, a, it's horribly uh, self-serving and a terrible plug for my book but uh, hey that's the way it is you don't have to, you know, I'm not forcing you, I'm not twisting your wrist or, you know, putting a gun to your head or any such thing. And I'm going to give you this free video nonetheless. Now, why do I say this is also valid for portable keyboards? Well, I have a very high-end one, you can see it here. Um, but, I, I'll tell you right now that these things are great, they're cheap, they're portable. That's the beauty of this thing. They're portable, you can move them from room to room. Uh, one side of your room to another if you redecorate blah 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 that includes digital pianos this one I bought because it's only 24 pounds ah, I noticed the, com the, the screen is uh, rippling which is what happens when you try to film something that has computer related in many cases well that doesn't normally happen so don't worry about that that's not an issue oh there you go now now you can see it just the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Now one of the reasons why this is a, is a good time saver and a weight saver and a money saver is it's very cheap. You don't have to tune it all the time. Um, you can plug headphones in so people don't uh, have to listen to your crap. <laughs> people at the piano store I used to work at tell me that's a big reason for people buying their expensive instruments. But you don't have to buy an expensive instrument. You can, you know, as long as it has these standard size keys, and you notice that these keyboards of all sorts do nowadays, um, you're good to go. Now, there's, a, a, there's an explanation of why that is, but I'm sure anybody with half a brain can figure out why that is. Also, this is a time saver. Now, why is that? Let me, let me put this down here and... Uh, put it on my tripod so you can see what the hell is going on here I'm gonna play some things for you and now uh, sorry if it's boring the hand you see will be mine of course now let's say you you want to learn many instruments well you can with a digital piano or a portable keyboard they have many many sounds on them so for example uh, I'm, I'm going to want to learn to play a saxophone 083 Great. Now let's see. Let's say I want to play a clarinet. Say so I want to play a flute. Let's see, where's where where the heck are my flutes? We gotta be here somewhere. Well, there's an oboe. Let's see what else. Trumpet, yeah. Let's see what else. Trombone. So, in other words, you can learn to play all those different instruments and many, many more um, just by learning to play one instrument, a keyboard. Now, keyboards are great because you can really understand how music works by the fact that you've only got one place to find every single note. Now, you guitar people, I, I feel for you because you've got multiple places to find every single note and it's, it's very hard to understand what the heck's going on. Here you have a pattern. You can see 
you can see these hands are mine of course uh, you can see that there's two black keys and three black keys and then two black keys and three black keys. There's a pattern to it. It's easy to understand how music works that way. Um, let's see. There's a little bit more. I see I've used it five minutes. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you another five, probably another five minutes on a different video.